long, long praying sessions down on her knees. His wife walked in and told us to switch on the television. News was reporting that Nelson Mandela would be released from prison soon. I turned to him and said, who's Nelson Mandela? The first words out of his mouth were, this is going to cause shit. <laughs> this is the man I was supposed to look up to. And that was his reaction. He went on to explain to me who Mandela was. That he was a very bad man, a terrorist, who killed white people. What did I know? I knew more about American politics than I did of my own history back in South Africa. Well, at least the truth of South Africa's history. A very important face of freedom, the truth. Knowing your culture and your history where you grew up in, that's your first step to freedom. Yeah. Continue family battles led me to lead halfway through my matriculation year, and I arrived in Durban on the east coast of South Africa with about four dollars in my pocket, ready to start my own life. Away from my family, I had thoughts of my own. I could go where I wanted to go, do what I wanted to do, and the best of all, I wasn't forced to attend church anymore. <laughs> I, future, I enrolled in a college to do future my studies in graphic design, and arriving late one day for the, cl the class, all the seats were taken but one. I ended up sitting next to a very attractive Indian lady who, was, who turned out to be one of my best friends for many, many years. For the first time, I could share and discuss things from, with different people. All my life in school, we were, skipped, we were being kept separate from other races. So for the first time, I could learn things from, from different people from all, all backgrounds. Learning information from people different from your own. That is an important phase of freedom, and to me, it still is today, and it should be. Yes. And being away from my family, I could do what I wanted to do, and I went to my very first gay club. And I need to put this down. I remember, I remember going to my first gay club, and people were burning on the dance floor. <laughs> Along with all the freedom came sexual freedom. The very little sex education we had in school was focused on heterosexuality. I finally came out to my mother at the age of 19, and after she said, well, okay, I have a gay son, just don't go and get AIDS. All the times, all the, all the education in school that were, that were given to us, we were told to use a condom as not to get a girl pregnant. I didn't have to think about that. I'm not into girls. Two years later, I would be infected with HIV. That's something I live with every day of my life. Because of other people's squeamishes and mindless prejudice, I believe I, the knowledge that I'm supposed to get, I couldn't protect myself and the man that I love. Thank you. Moving down to Cape Town, I met Andre. Unknowingly, I infected him with HIV. And I'm sure the same goes for many of you out there tonight. Five years later, I would hold his hand as he died from AIDS. Because of people not giving me the education and the knowledge, I didn't have the freedom to protect him or myself. And that's something that people need to learn and to respect. Knowledge is power. Knowing your HIV status is power. So, apartheid ended in 1994. It was an amazing time for our country. For the first time in South Africa's history, everyone had the right to vote. That is a very important phase of freedom. Many people left the country, others returned. The healing process began. In 1996, the government of South Africa asked the people what should be in their constitution. Many people made suggestions, gay, group lobbied, gay, gay groups lobbied, and in time, we received equal rights, including the right to marry. So, I'm 
married the absolute love of my life, Herman. We've now been legally married for almost six years. Perhaps for me, for all of you, the most important face of freedom. And it will happen. Becoming Mr. S.A. Leather 2009, I was the first in Africa to, to have any leather title. Going to, going to America and Chicago, entering Mr. International Mr. Leather, creating those lifelong bonds is indescribable, amazing. Here I stand before you tonight in the city of brotherly love. I'm creating new bonds, new connections, and thank you for the energy that you all share.